Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider the concept of finding n point circular convolution of two sequences. The two sequences are x1 of n is equal to cosine of 2 pi n divided by capital N and x2 of n is equal to sine of 2 pi n divided by capital N. The, the task is to find n point circular convolution of these two sequences. Uh, whenever the task is to find n point uh, circular convolution, I could find it using the time domain approach or the frequency domain approach. This uh, this uh, numerical uh, can be solved using uh, Stockham's method or frequency domain method. Before we start uh, finding n point circular con convolution, uh, the sequences x1 of n and x2 of n need to be expressed in terms of their exponentials. x1 of n uh, is equal to so just me uh, let me write that x1 of n is equal to that is cosine of 2 pi n divided by capital n so i said uh, let me express this in terms of its exponentials so how do i do that for this uh, euler's form formula comes into picture which says that cos theta equal to e to the power j theta plus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2 making use that in place of theta i have 2 pi n divided by capital n so this equals to 1 divided by 2 e to the power j theta which is 2 pi n divided by capital N plus e to the power minus j theta which is 2 pi n divided by capital N. So this I could write it using Euler's formula. So next if I look at uh, if I consider the twiddle factor which is uh, wn equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. So this is the expression for twiddle factor. So I need to express this exponential into its twiddle factor. Uh, let me do that which is equal to 1 divided by 2 if I consider e to the power j 2 pi by n. Here it is. But it should have been minus but minus sign is not there. Hence I would write w n to the power minus and I am left with n that comes here. Getting it? Similarly plus uh, here e to the power minus j 2 pi by n which is nothing but w n but I am left with I am left with small n so this is how uh, it is uh, expressed x1 of n similarly x2 of n can also be replaced uh, simplified that that will say it uh, later so I said I need to make use of Stockham's approach so what is uh, Stockham's approach I need to first find x1 of k and x2 of k which are dfts of x1 of n and x2 of n. Later multiply the sequences get y of k which is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k. Later find idft of that sequence so that will get y of n which is nothing but n point circular convolution. So that is the approach. To find that first uh, let us find x1 of k. So what will be x1 of k which is the dft. Uh, we know the formula summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n to the power k n. Now x1 of n which is uh, this I will put this 1 divided by 2 into bracket w n to the power minus n plus w n to the power n this gets multiplied with w n to the power k into n. So that is being expressed. So now uh, let me just simplify this. 1 by 2 is a constant that comes out. So this is summation of A plus B which is nothing but summation of A plus summation of B. So I could write summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 wn to the power minus n into wn to the power kn because I am multiplying these two factors. In, in those two factors I can take n common. What I am left with? I am left with k minus 1. Hope I am clear here. Similarly, plus 1 by 2 is there. Summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. So now I need to multiply these two factors wn to the power n, wn to the power k into n. Here also, wn to the power, I will take n out. I will be left with k plus 1. I hope I am making some sense here. So these things are clear. Once that is done, uh, what I can do is, which is equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Uh, look at here. 
in this expression if i put k equal to 1 what is going to happen if i put k equal to 1 uh, 1 minus 1 would become 0 i am going to get wn to the power 0 wn to the power 0 is nothing but 1 summation of 0 to n minus 1 of 1 equal to what that comes from the standard uh, geometric series which says that summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 of 1 equal to what it is n so this we know it when do i get this as uh, n under the condition when uh, k is equal to 1 so that that we should remember so if i want to write this as n i cannot write just as n this is the case when k is equal to 1 that condition should also i write it so if i write uh, this condition i cannot solve it using mathematically so instead of writing uh, it is equal to n when k is equal to 1 i would write n into del of k minus 1 so is that okay so what is del now it is unit impulse signal so what what it says so whenever k equal to 1 i am going to get del of 0 del of 0 is nothing but 1 so condition is satisfied if it is uh, not equal to 1 i am going to get uh, some other answer getting it so i am considering the condition now uh, instead of writing uh, k equal to 1 i am writing it as del of k minus 1 so this step is very important one should understand plus similarly 1 by 2 so now i have to put k equal to minus 1 now k equal to when i put k equal to minus 1 i am going to get wn to the power 0 uh, which is 1 summation of 1 is nothing but n i am going to get n so when is this going to happen under the condition when uh, k is equal to minus 1 so it is uh, minus of minus 1 i am going to get del of k plus 1 so when i put k equal to minus 1 it becomes 0 uh, everything will become uh, 0 it is nothing but del of 0 which is going to be 1 so this step is very important hope you people ha all have understood so this i am calling it as x1 of k so once we get the expression for x1 of k similarly we have to get the expression for x2 of k so how do i get the expression for x2 of k the task is simple x2 of n is nothing but sine of 2 pi n divided by capital n again this thing should also be expressed something like this getting it uh, what is sine theta it is e to the power j theta minus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2j that is the change here i am going to get the sign negative here it is not just 2 it is going to be 2j that is the only change so with that if i do that i am going to i'll just write the final answer i hope you can do it by yourself so what i do is i'll write uh, instead of uh, 2 i'm going i said i'm going to get 1 by 2j so here i would get n into del of k minus 1 this plus sign will become minus now so this 1 by 2 would become 1 by 2j n into del of k plus 1 so this is the only change compared to x1 of k and x2 of k hope i am clear here now i said i need to get y of k what is y of k y of k is nothing but x1 of k into x2 of k so what i have to do now i have to multiply uh, the expressions for x1 of k and x2 of k so let me write that this is 1 by 2 n into del of k minus 1 plus 1 by 2 n into del of k plus 1 so this is the first uh, term that is x1 of k similarly i have got x2 of k which is nothing but i'll just write it here uh, into 1 by 2j n into del of k minus 1 minus 1 by 2j n into del of k plus 1 getting it so now i need to multiply the terms so the first term has two factors here the second parenthesis has two more terms 2 into 2 actually results in four terms so in the first term i can take out n by 2 as the common and i'll be left with del of k minus 1 plus 
del of k plus 1. Getting it? Similarly, the second term I can take out n divided by 2j as the common thing. I will be left with del of k minus 1 minus del of k plus 1. Getting it? So I just uh, simplified one more term by taking the terms n by 2 and uh, n by 2j out. So I can multiply those two things which turns out to be n square divided by 4j. Getting it? So next thing is I need to multiply. So first I'll consider del of k minus 1. I multiply this with the del of k minus 1. So both gets multiplied. Do I get del square of k minus 1? It is nothing but del of k minus 1 only. Because the amplitude of that thing is going to be 1. Even though I take the square, it is still 1 only. So hence that is del of k minus 1. So now if I have to multiply del of k minus 1 with del of k plus 1. So do I get any answer here? So just look, del of k minus 1 is the unit uh, impulse signal which exists at this point, k equal to 1. And del of k plus 1, so this is del of k minus 1, del of k plus 1. So if I represent del of k plus 1, it is the unit impulse signal which exists at uh, 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 k equal to minus 1. I am multiplying these two things. So what do I get? Multiplication leads to uh, 0 because this exists at k equal to 1, this exists at k equal to minus 1. So multiplication leads to 0. Hence I don't get the second term, any term here. Getting it? So next I'll consider del of k plus 1. Del of k plus 1 with del of k minus 1. Again that, that leads to 0. Then I have del of k plus 1 minus del of k minus 1. So I'm going to get minus of del of k plus 1. Getting it? Because uh, it is del square of k plus 1. Again amplitude is nothing but uh, 1. Hence I would get del of k plus 1. So ultimately what do I get? I would get n square divided by 4j into bracket del of k plus 1 minus del of uh, sorry so in the, in the first term this is um, k minus 1 so just change it so this is del of k minus 1 minus del of k plus 1 so this is the expression I'm going to get for y of k so now I'm halfway through only I still have to get y of n what is y of n y of n is nothing but idft of y of k. So how do I find this? Make use of the formula for idft which is equal to 1 divided by capital N summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of k. What is y of k? So I'll just substitute that. Uh, first let me write the formula y of k wn to the power minus kn. So this, this is the formula to find the y of n. So let me now substitute for that 1 divided by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 in place of y of k I am going to get n square divided by 4j then I have del of k minus 1 minus del of k plus 1 this is getting multiplied with wn to the power minus k into n. Getting it? So again it is uh, summation of a plus b. So, uh, summation of a minus b. So it can be written as summation of a minus summation of b. And uh, before that this n and this n square. So 1n gets cancelled out. I am going to get n divided by 4j. Getting it? So here I am going to get summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 del of k minus 1 gets multiplied with wn to the power minus k into n. Similarly, so I'll just have taken n by 4j out for both the terms minus summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 I have uh, del of k plus 1 getting multiplied with wn to the power minus k into n. So this is what I am going to get. So can it uh, still be simplified? Yes, let's see that. I am go going to get n divided by 4j here. So here, so what is this? So if I put k equal to 1, what I am going to get? Let's uh, check that. If I put k equal to 1, this is going to become del of 0. And del of 0 is nothing but 1. 
here I'm going to get, uh, I said k equal to 1, uh, wn to the power minus n. So summation is there, but summation of del of k minus 1, everything turns out to be 1. I am only going to get wn to the power minus n. So instead of this entire term, I am going to get only this term out of it. How is that possible? Summation is there, but summation of del of 0 I am going to get. So everywhere else, uh, from 0th position onward, from 1 to n minus 1, all the terms are going to be 0 because this del is going to exist only at k equal to 1. Getting it? If I put k equal to 1, I am going to get del of 0. So at that point only this uh, impulse exists at k equal to 1. At 0, 2, 3 till n minus 1, it is going to be 0. So hence 0 into w, I am going to get 0 only. So all the summation lead to only one value which is uh, k equal to 1. Under that condition, del of 0 I am going to get which turns out to be 1. So here also I am going to put uh, k equal to 1. Hence I would get wn to the power minus n only. Similarly, minus. So what I am going to get here? So I am going to get a value, let's check that, uh, uh, by placing k equal to minus 1. So if I put k equal to minus 1 here, this becomes a del of 0 and I am going to get it as 1. And uh, wn to the power k into n. wn to the power k into n. Is that clear? So this part must be uh, very clear to everyone. Uh, it is not uh, k into n because I said k is equal to minus 1. It is just uh, n. Is that fine? So this step is very important. So I have to put k equal to minus 1. Under that condition, I'm going to get del of 0, which turns out to be 1. So put k equal to minus 1, I'm going to get wn to the power small n. That's it. And I have forgotten this to write it. So this term, uh, both the terms get multiplied with the wn to the power minus kn. So it is not included. So now I'll write it wn to the power minus kn. Correct? So let's uh, try to simplify this uh, further. And uh, let's see. Uh, no, it's it's not. It's not. It's not. Sorry for that. Wn to the power minus n is not there. I have taken them inside. Uh, whatever it is there, it came out here and it came here as well. So this is, this is what ultimately I'm going to get. So I could uh, say this as the final answer or I could uh, simplify this further. How can I simplify it further? Let's see that n by 4j. So now I'll substitute this as the twiddle factor. Wn, we know it, it is e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. So now I have got uh, minus n, it becomes minus of minus plus small n. Correct? Minus e to the power, Wn is nothing but e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. Here I have small n as well. So this is what uh, I'm going to get now. So what is this? This looks like uh, sin theta e to the power minus e to the power j theta I have minus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2j. 2j is missing. Just take out from this uh, and write it over here. So now you write n divided by 2 and this is e to the power j 2 pi small n divided by capital N minus e to the power minus j 2 pi small n divided by capital N and divide this by 2j. Getting it? So this is nothing but n divided by 2 sine theta. In place of theta I have 2 pi small n divided by capital N. So this turns out to be finally n point circular convolution which is nothing but y of n. Here also this exists for small n varying from 0 to capital N minus 1. So finally this is the answer for y of n. So it's a bit tedious uh, numerical but the concepts are uh, very clear. I have explained this numerical step by step. Hope you people have understood this. Uh, thanks for watching the entire video and uh, do subscribe for the channel ng classes for more videos on uh, digital signal processing. Thanks for watching.